Hey everybody, today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to make Persian ice cream, which is known as Akbar Mashti Bastani ice cream. Basically, it's ice cream flavored with saffron and rose water. Let's get straight into it. So, just in front of me here, I've got a 5 liter tub of vanilla ice cream. Um, make sure you buy a very good quality one. It's not going to taste nice if you use one of those cheap ones. So, just leave that outside for about 15 minutes, just so it melts just a little bit. Then we'll move on. Okay, now grab yourselves a large stainless steel bowl. I'm using a stock pot here. Now, the reason you should use a steel one is because the frozen ice cream will interact with the actual steel and keep it cold. If you were to use a plastic one, it will start to melt very rapidly, and we don't want that or else it will crystallize. So, go ahead and using a large spoon, empty the contents of the ice cream top into the pot. So as I said, I'm using a 5 litre tub, that's pretty much the standard ones you see in the supermarket. They're either 4 or 5 litres. Okay, now I've got half a glass of boiling hot water here, and I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of granulated saffron. I just stir that through, and just set that to the side for a couple of minutes just so it dissolves. Now to our ice cream, we're going to be adding in one cup of rose water. Now you can use a Persian or a Lebanese one or anyone in the supermarket. And we're also going to be adding one can of sweetened condensed milk. This one here is a 400 gram. Make sure the tin is completely empty. Now this part isn't necessary, but if you want it to be a bit more yellow, just go ahead and add in a few more drops of yellow food colouring. The saffron itself will make it a bit light yellow, but depending on how strong you want it. Now our saffron has dissolved as you can see, so give it a quick stir and go ahead and pour all of that in as well. As you can see, we've got that beautiful yellow colour there. Okay, now, before we stir this, this is completely up to you. Some people like to add pistachios into it. If you want to do that, grind up about a quarter cup of pistachios and add that through. Okay, so I'm going to be using a hand mixer to do this. If you've got a hand blender, that'll work just as well. It just depends what equipment you have. So just on a medium speed, all we want to do is blend it all together. And continue taking the mixer around. It's very important to blend it evenly so all the flavours in the saffron is mixed evenly. As you can see some of the yellow parts are stuck in one corner. Okay, as you can see it's starting to blend together easily. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just go on full speed and get it all completely mixed up. Be careful not to burn the motor either. Okay, so that's our finished product there. So what we're going to do now is portion these and put them back into the freezer. 
Now, completely up to you. The way I'm going to do it is just put some into a big tub like this. And I'm also going to portion some like this as we sell them in our restaurant. So give it a good mix before you do that to make sure it's all still combined. And just pour it straight in. Now you can use a plastic spatula as well to get it all out. You don't want to waste any of it. So I'll put that much into the tub and the rest will portion. Just like that. Now when we sell them in our restaurant, after we pour it in like that, we also garnish it with some crushed pistachios like that. And that's how you serve it. So we'll go ahead and put all of this back into the freezer so it freezes back up. So guys, that's our end result there out of the freezer. As you can see, it's perfectly scoopable like that as well. I've just garnished it with some saffron flowers as well. And that's how you make it. I hope you liked that video guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you've got any recipe suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. And I'll see you guys next time.